Hello, and welcome to this Quisip demo. In this session, we'll be demonstrating what an overlay network is using Venus Cubed. Venus Cubed is designed and built for cloud native networking. But first, a quick overview of the core functions of Venus Cubed. Venus Cubed is delivered as a virtual appliance and is available for most public cloud and virtualization formats on x86 platforms. Once instantiated, a Venus Cubed virtual machine can be considered as a Swiss Army knife of cloud networking providing such functions as a router, switch, firewall, VPN concentrator for IPsec and SSL, protocol redistributor, and a scriptable software-defined networking device in its own right. VNS Cubed virtualizes these six, four, six core functions, which allows control, mobility, and agility of your network by separating the network location from the network identity. VNS Cubed provides control over end-to-end -end encryption, IP addressing, and network topology. Let's start with the native virtual and physical layers. A simple topology shown here shows a data center in Chicago with a remote office in London. Both the locations connect to cloud hosted servers via the internet. The cloud data center has virtual machines or virtual instances. Each virtual machine runs on a physical host stroke hypervisor connected to a switch and each switch is connected to a firewall then onto a router and this edge router provides the cloud's connectivity to the internet. All three sites have, are connected to the internet by switches, firewalls, and routers. All three topologies are made up of a combination of physical and virtual devices. Multiple layers and different types of virtualization is used. Note that all three sites are on different subnets. So we call these three sites the native layer. Now let's look at a simple VNS cubed overlay network. The same native topology is present in the cloud. In addition to this, you will see a small gray flex which depicts a VNS Cube Manager. The VNS Cube Manager is a software-only virtual appliance running within the host or hypervisor. VNS Cube creates an overlay network separating network identity from physical network location. The VNS Cube Manager acts as a virtual switch providing the overlay connectivity to each of the compute hosts. The compute hosts then switch traffic between them via the VNS Cube Manager. They are configured to talk to these managers as client servers. They see the VNS Cube Manager as the next logical hop in their topology. The VNS Cube Manager is configured with a subnet of your choice. In this example, we have given it a 172 address space. These IPs then become available for static allocation to the client servers. This will allow them to join the overlay network as part of the, the topology. The two red lines, shown here, are IPsec tunnels from the Venus Cube Manager to remote firewalls. Both London and Chicago have two different endpoints and are behind two different subnets, 192.168.3.0/24 and 192.168.4.0/24. Note, in this example, the remote subnets are in different ranges to the Venus Cube Manager. However, it is possible to distribute IP addresses from the same subnet and extend it into the data center. So if you wanted, you could configure the overlay network as the next logical IP available from the Chicago data center, allowing you to extend, seamlessly extend your network into the cloud. In this example, the traffic still travels on the native network and on the native devices. Logically, Venus Cube is layered over these devices to provide an overlay network function. The user can select the IP addresses for each client server in the public cloud and these overlay IPs are addressable from both London and Chicago. When a client instance is configured in the VNS Cube topology, a second interface is created on the server called TON0. This interface is layered over the existing native interface and all overlay traffic goes via TON0. This is in addition to the existing primary interface, usually labeled ETH0. Usually E0 can be shut off to all traffic other than the traffic via TON0, and this creates a sealed network. Note that the native devices are still present in this topology and still provide the native physical and virtual connections. The overlay network is layered over the native layer and is still dependent on the native layer, depicted by the reduced opacity of the devices here. So what if I want high availability? The next diagram shows the same native topology with an additional VNS Cube Manager for high availability of the overlay network. 
When two or more managers are paired together, they start exchanging and giving topologies, routing information, and sharing client server credentials and connectivity details. Any connected client servers can still connect to either manager. In turn, both managers will still be able to access the client or clients, no matter which manager the client server is connected to at that time. Venus Cubed high availability solutions have automatic failovers and no user intervention is required. What happens if a manager fails? In the event the primary manager or manager 1 is available, the client servers automatically connect to the other managers in topology. This slide shows the failure of manager 1 and then manager 2 takes over the primary role and identity. Peered managers provide overlay network high availability but do not provide IPsec failover. The IPsec device at the endpoint of either London Chicago should have its own IPsec availability feature, uh, high availability features. The diagram shows the remote sites or endpoints have Cisco ASAs using multi-peer list feature. And so the ASAs drive the IPsec failover. And if it detects the tunnel is down, it will try to reconnect by another one. So to recap, Venus Cubed is a virtual network overlaid on top of a cloud native network. Venus Cube managers are hybrid switches, routers, protocol redistributors, firewalls, and VPN concentrators, and they're deployed as virtual appliances. Venus Cube allows the user to configure each client server with an IP address of their choice. All data is encrypted from the remote site to each cloud server and in between them, each of the cloud hosted servers. IPsec encryption is used from remote site networks endpoints to the cloud. All cloud servers communicate through the Venus Cube managers. All data in motion between these servers use SSL encryption. Each cloud server requires VPN client software and a Venus Cube client pack to be installed. Once both are installed, each cloud hosted server becomes a member of an overlay network. We call these client servers. Venus Cube supports most IPsec connectivity devices, which are listed on the screen. Any questions, you can contact us. Here's my details. And thank you for taking the time to listen to this demo.